Ashok Balani joins me now. He is the Executive Vice President of Technology for Schlumberger. Now, thank you so much for joining us. I was listening to you talking, and of course, your big focus is the digital future. How prepared is this industry, and what are you hearing, and, and how great is the digital future going to be for oil and gas? Well, I think the digital future for oil and gas is going to be big. There's no doubt about that. Uh, is this industry well on its way to uh, the digital future? I would say there is uh, a large upside, which is still to come. Uh, we do a lot of things in the digital world. We've known data for a long time because we deal with the subsurface, which uh, we never actually touch. So we have to work with data for forever. Uh, however, I think, uh, I, uh, however, I think uh, there is a lot to be done uh, to achieve the next levels of efficiency and productivity uh, and performance in uh, exploration and in drilling and in production, practically all the workflows in the oil and gas industry. Now you chaired a great panel there and again a lot of different issues that people are dealing with and a lot of unknowns as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I think in this panel we are st uh, working still on a very high level and on the high level I think uh, I would make a general statement that everyone probably understands that there is a big promise to digital technologies or capabilities that are going to be leveraged in various forms in the the whole energy sector in oil and gas or in uh, power or in uh, renewables. Uh, however, I think there is still this uh, reticence about the fact that there are challenges. The challenges may come from uh, different kinds of employment issues or cybersecurity or data transparency or data issues uh, which make people think that the progress is going to be a lot slower uh, than I believe it is actually going to be. It, the, I think the industry will catch on very fast once some of the uh, uh, little issues are worked out and then the promise holds uh, a very big upside in the future. Now, tell me a little bit about um, your, you know you being involved with IEF here, a global oil services company. Perhaps we might not have seen you here ten years ago, but why is it so important that the industry and the ministers and all of the people and yourself, the IOCs, the NOCs, and of course the corporates come together to really thrash these issues out? Well, I think maybe I'll I'll divide that uh, question into two parts. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm here, I have to admit, is because. This is India. I'm originally an Indian, and uh, I do have some uh, some things to do with the Indian oil and gas sector. Uh, but besides that, I think there is an important aspect that uh, digital technologies are changing the way uh, individuals behave or work. They are going to change the way industries or enterprises work, and they are also going to change the way governments regulate or regulating agencies regulate. Uh, and hence, uh, all of these different stakeholders, the oil companies, the service companies, which represent the industry, and the digital companies, and the, the regulators coming together, actually makes for a very rich discussion on the subject. And when we look at IEF, an organization like IEF, really brought together to bring the producers and the consumers together. This, you know, they've grown in stature, they've grown in relevancy and I think some of the data that's coming out there we're hearing great reports from that you know how do you look at the IEF right now? Well it's the first time I've attended a meeting of the IEF and uh, I am quite enthusiastic about uh, how it has been put together uh, I also the fact that they use uh, different very relevant host countries uh, makes it uh, very topical and very relevant uh, discussion and the fact that energy is such a fundamental thing in the world and it's going through this transition right now, it makes this meeting even more relevant. 